Okay, so MetroTimes.com just released something called the Detroit Rule. Let's see if I abide by those rules. Well, let me tell you if it's cap or not. All right, one of the first rules is say, don't go to the McDonald's on Troy Road in Southfield. Now, if you're familiar with Detroit, the McDonald's on Troy Road in Southfield is called the Murder Mac. I mean, you know, you can go there, bro. Like, you know, people from the city, we ain't scared to go wherever, you know. But the only thing that was murdered there for me was my appetite. They gave me some cold-ass fries, but, you know, whatever. Parking a quarter mile away is better than conveniently parking near the state. Man, that's cap, bro. I'd rather just pay to park because once I drive around downtown, I'm trying to find a million and one parking spots that I can't find. I could have just paid for this parking and just could have walked to where I needed to go to, but I wanted to ride around and try. I'm straight up, man. I'd rather just pay. They say you cannot frequent both American Coney Island and Lafayette Coney Island. At the trying both, you must pledge your allegiance until the day you die. Man, that shit is cap. Bro, don't nobody from Detroit for real care about Lafayette and American Coney Island, bro. It's all about the Coney Islands of the neighborhood. The best Coney's are the Coney's you could possibly lose your life at. People that's really from Detroit do not give a damn about Lafayette and American Coney Island. That's life for people from the suburbs, for people from out of town. Man, I'd rather go get me some Nikki D's any day, man. Fuck that. Canada really isn't a country. It's a Detroit suburb. Nah, it's a country, bro. I mean, you know, like, it's right next to Michigan, but it's still its own country. I love Windsor. The women are beautiful. Opening day is literally a holiday. Yeah, yeah. People literally take vacations just for opening day. And they don't even go to the baseball game. They just do it to get drunk and pass out downtown. Meyer is superior to Walmart. That is cat. That is cat. No, no, no. No, nah, that's cat, bro. I'm sorry. Vernus is medicine. These are facts. That's facts. That's like one of the few facts on this little terrible list. No cheese on the coney. All right. Yeah, that's a, that's facts. That's facts. It's pronounced grass sheet. I, I made plenty of videos about mispronounced Detroit streets. It's pronounced grass sheet for sure. Your loyalty to the big three depends on who your grandparents or family members were for. I don't know. That's a somewhat. That's a somewhat. See, I don't know about this one, man, because people just want to go to what pays more, you know, or, or what company is better. It's like Chrysler ain't really about nothing. And everybody in the city really want, want to work for Ford. But a lot of people don't want to work at the plant because it's like once you get in there, you don't have a life. Your life is the plant. That's why they wear all their good clothes to work because they don't have a life anyway. Learn a love hating alliance. Got two different types of Detroiters, right? You got that one Detroiter, he just in denial that the Lions are gonna be good this year. They're gonna go 10, they're gonna win 10 games. Then you got the other Detroiter that's like, they garbage, they trash, they not doing nothing, they, they never done nothing, they never about nothing. So it depends.